welcome back to the channel hit like and subscribe button so we can get more content so today what we're going to discuss is the benq 27 inch 1080p monitor which has the 75 hertz one millisecond for gaming response time also has proprietary eye care tech adaptive brightness for image quality and it is the gl 2780 and has a glossy back so this is the benq monitor and i'm going to be testing it on the playstation 5 as you can see it's connected via hdmi the playstation 5 is booting up so is this something that you can use for your playstation 5 gaming needs i would say yes it does have 27 inches on the display it's an lcd panel it's 75 hertz but on the playstation 5 you will not get 75 hertz you will get the 60 hertz it does have a quick one millisecond response time so that is good there's a few things that you'll see me as well set up and it'll just take a moment all right let's jump into the profile the connections that it does have on the back is the display port hdmi version 1.4 it has the DVI port and a VGA, but you really won't have to worry about the other ports if you're just using it for gaming, HDMI, or the display port, depending on which one. Now, when it comes to the settings, I was playing around trying to figure out what is the best settings for me. The one that I kind of like is using the multimedia. But there's a few setups as you'll see it does change the variation now if you do the color weakness mode it does change some of the reds uh, or the greens so they're not as they don't pop out as much and we'll we'll kind of see that in the video now there are different types of of models for the uh, ben q 27 inch you do also have the gw 2780 which is also a 27 inch there are some differences but this one here is the gl 2780 so it's the gl model and here you can see just kind of going through some of those settings now you have game mode and i think if you do set it up in game mode you'll get a different color it does not specify that you have to use it in game mode to get the one millisecond response time so it should be able to get that one millisecond response time on um, the different playing settings so it does have also ultra high contract uh, contrast ratio spectacular which is 12 million one dynamic contrast ratio so that everything you can see is perfectly rendered to deliver the clearest, smoothest picture performance during movie and video game. All right. For some people that will also use this as a working monitor, you do have uh, low blue light technology experience, uh, instant eye strain relief, allowing for lasting viewing comfort in home or office. And again, the rapid response, extremely fast, one millisecond response um, for every day using gaming, uh, work, and entertainment. But again, the one millisecond response time, you're going to mainly be looking at it in gaming. Too bad that the PlayStation 5 does not support the, result, the uh, refresh rate of 75 um, hertz. It'll be nice to have a variable rate where you can use that, but at this point, it's either 60 or 120 depending on the type of monitor i did make a previous video where if you have a monitor that's 1440p some monitors have the option just like the samsung to trick the playstation into working with um, some of the 120 hertz at a 1440 or outputting it at 1440 because it tricks the playstation into sending out a 4k signal the monitor itself does the conversion to the 1440p but as it stands there is nothing that supports 120 hertz unless you are at uh, 1080p at 120 hertz or you have hdmi 2.1 on a tv that has 120 hertz refresh rate 
at 4K at with the HDMI 2.1. And here you can see just overall how some of the setting changes do look. This is recorded at 1080p uh, with HDR on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. So it tries to catch the best quality, but you still see some of those lines. And that's just because it's recording a screen. So we are getting some of that feedback. It will look better in person. So and if you are looking to have a higher resolution this is not the monitor for you this is a 1080p monitor so you want to look at something maybe 1440 or maybe something with a higher refresh rate at 1080p instead of 75 hertz maybe looking at 120 hertz at that um at that resolution and you can see when we go into the system settings what we'll get as you see the options, 4K transfer rate, but it's set up to automatic, but it needs to have a 4K output. This won't happen. The output will be 1080p at 60 hertz, and it's using HDMI 1.4. Does not support HDR, so you will not get HDR with this monitor. And this settings right there um, for the RGB range, set it to automatic, and this stays automatic as well. We know that it doesn't support it, so if you do plug in a monitor that does, those options would be more visible. And here you can see just going into some of the games, we'll launch Fortnite. Um, I have the current settings set up so some of the colors as you the reds don't pop out so they have an off color and I'll make the adjustment later as you can see right there those colors are definitely they look different and if you do play with the settings you have to make that adjustment to what fits you now how did I get into using this monitor so this is a testing monitor just to see if someone could game on a 1080p using a ps5 and it's if it's something that's doable and how does it look compared to some of the 4k tvs are there any benefits the colors are great the response time is great so it's very doable are you going to get the same quality as a 4K TV? I would say no, because you are missing out on the HDR. But also, if you are using a cheaper TV with HDR, you might not notice as much of a difference and or losing that functionality might not be as big of a deal. So here we launch YouTube. As you can see, the color is off. And we can make that adjustment and correct it. More and more people are connecting uh, their gaming stations to monitors or they're using certain TVs like the C10 by LG which is an OLED the 48 inch model for a monitor as well as a gaming station and that is one of the best displays that you can get at the moment I think you get a lot of different features with variable refresh rate HDMI 2.1 OLED which you get true blacks and it is, I think, at this point, one of the best solutions, but it also is one of the pricier solutions. More of us are waiting for monitors with HDMI 2.1 just to test out and see if it's something that's worth connecting and buying because they will not be cheap. They'll be $1,000 or higher until more and more units get produced. But even right now, you're seeing some of the 4k monitors at a much higher price i will be trying to test another 1440p and a 4k monitor soon with the playstation 5 just to see if there is a benefit for users upgrading to a 4k or a 1440 when they're connecting a gaming station that has limited output with the current software 
as we have seen that maybe upscaling and other things might come out down the road but right now playstation is definitely focusing more towards the television sphere so hdmi 2.1 is the way that they're going until we see more monitors monitors with that option i don't think they will in incorporate anything 1440p related but once you play with the settings on this one like i said you can get a fairly good picture you can just make sure you put it or make your own adjustments now the eye care and so on once you play with that it can take the color a little bit off but if you just go straight to game mode and maybe change some of the contrast you'll get a better version i will be doing more testing of screens at this point there's not many 2.1 hdmi monitors and some of that do exist are on the 1300 price range so stay tuned for more like and subscribe and thank you for watching